Welcome to the Functional Anatomy of the Knee, created by Three Treasures Studio. The knee is one of the largest joints in the body. It contains one of the most complex synovial structures. Its stability is based entirely upon its ligaments. It is also one of the most frequently injured joints in the body. The knee is motivated by the leg muscles with its primary actions being flexion, motivated by the hamstrings, and extension, motivated by the quadriceps. The knee joint contains the two condylar synovial joints of the femur and tibia and also a gliding synovial joint of the patella and femur. The knee joint is without bony security it relies entirely upon its ligaments to limit the range of motion and to provide stability. There are four main ligaments. The anterior cruciate ligament, the medial collateral ligament, the lateral collateral ligament, and the posterior cruciate ligament. The knee also contains the meniscus discs of cartilage that provide a gliding surface and a synovial sac. The synovial cavity of the knee is one of the most complex in the body. It produces its own fluid which it mixes with the nutrients from the blood. If the knee is injured, the synovial fluid may increase, causing pressure or swelling. The ACL and the PCL are cruciate ligaments as they are said to cross in the center of the knee. From the front, we see the patella, encapsulated by the patella ligament, is in line with the thigh and the foot. Flexing the knee beyond 90 degrees will put undue strain on the patella ligament while the rectus femoris engages in isometric contraction. Misalignment of the ankle will strain the MCL, LCL, and ACL. For more information on our productions or to purchase a high resolution copy of this video, visit www.3d-yoga.com.